And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. It is 6.43 on this Wednesday morning, and we have been tracking changes all morning long from rain to fog to cooler temperatures. So let's start with a look at where the cool weather is right now, mainly in the upper valley over Rio Grande City, right around 56 degrees this morning. So you may need that light jacket, even if you're in McAllen or Edinburgh, still at around 61 and 62 there, 60 here in Weslaco. Notice that the farther east you go, the warmer it does get, and you'll feel the mugginess as well in the lower valley this morning. 70 degrees right now in Raymondville to 68 in Harlingen, 69 in Brownsville to 70 in Port Isabel. We've had some rain and a little bit of fog to contend with this morning. A lot of the fog that was very thick down the I-69E corridor this morning has now improved a little bit. We have around three to four miles visibility. Everywhere else is pretty clear for your commute, but the roads are going to be wet. So when we look at the Doppler network, I looped this particular image back six hours to show you the gradual progression. So it starts in Star County, makes its way very slowly east overnight and into this morning, uh, bringing some light to moderate rain. So the roads all by behind uh, the, the showers that are now over in Cameron Willacy County will be wet. You could even see a few puddles out there, especially down I 69 C and the expressway when you get into Hidalgo County. So just be careful out there uh, right now. Just a little bit of light to scattered shower activity, making its way mainly north in the valley. And we're talking about San Perlita getting the rain as well as Santa Monica. A few other showers are streaming offshore, but we can't rule out maybe a little bit of light rain also streaming near the island and over southern Cameron. Cameron County future track indicates that as the day goes on, we're going to see maybe a few more showers, mainly over the lower valley. So it looks like the upper valley is going to be relatively quiet, but cloudy and a little bit cooler. Now, as the day goes on, notice this is one o'clock in the afternoon. A few more showers are still possible in the lower valley, maybe even a little bit moving into portions of Hidalgo County. But then overnight, we're going to pick the rain chances back up and we could even see a shower or even a thunderstorm move through. So just be ready for that, especially if you you work outdoors or plan on being out after six o'clock in the evening. Have your umbrella ready to rock and roll. 66 degrees otherwise, a little bit of fog, a little bit of damp conditions out there from some showers going up to about 74 today under mainly cloudy skies, but we could see maybe a little bit of sunshine before uh, the skies thicken back up and we'll have a few more showers to contend with and even a thunderstorm possible tonight. High temperatures look a lot like this cooler in the upper valley near 70 in Rio Grande City to 72 McAllen in Edinburgh, 74 in Wesleyco as well as on the island, 76 in Raymondville and Harlingen and 78 degrees is what you can expect in Brownsville. So the lower valley and along the coast will be a little bit warmer than the rest of the valley because of the slow progression of this front. If you're out on the water today, there will be a light chop on the bay. Near shore waters two to four feet. Keep in mind there will be showers and possibly a thunderstorm to contend with. Other than that, no advisories. Rain chances go down a little bit, and I mean talking about 30% early tomorrow morning and then gradual clearing throughout the day back to dry conditions for Friday. Here we go. Your first one five seven day forecast will show a warming trend from here on out. We'll go from 74 today to 80 by tomorrow with that gradual clearing and sunshine. I think we'll be back in the low 80s, but some areas could stay in the upper 70s tomorrow. 82 by Friday. Your overnight lows will gradually get a little bit warmer. 62 tonight and 63 tomorrow night. Here we go. As we roll into the weekend, it is going to be a very warm start. So if you have plans outdoors, expect very warm and humid conditions with lots of sunshine near 88. But then a cold front will roll through. It doesn't bring rain, but it will bring windy conditions back to the valley for Sunday. It will be mild near 76 degrees, a lot lower humidity for the end of the weekend going into the start of next week. Still sunny and breezy near 76 and then eventually we'll get back to the mid 80s for Tuesday. Coolest night this week looks like it's going to be Saturday night with a low of 51. Otherwise, upper 50s and low 60s. That's your updated first one five forecast. Dina back to you.